I am back with the Norfolk block. And this time it's just, um, it is just a star in a star. So I got to make, you see that? It's pretty. I got to make seven, I think seven of them. Um, yes, I got to make seven of them. So that being said, they will be made out of flying geese Under the boots. and has square triangles. So I'll be making those and I already got all my uh, material over here. Now if you can see it over here, cut and ready to rock and roll. So I'll be doing that one. Uh, that's my third block on the Norfolk. Uh, so along. So, if you want to see, don't have anything on the board because I have. I just got through cutting them. Stop talking, Mama. You said you're gonna be quiet. I don't have anything on the board because because uh, cookie. No. I don't have. Sorry about that, y'all. She and I are the only ones at home, so I can't send her away today. <laughs> but um, I don't have anything on the board because I hadn't started on them. I just got through cutting them today. So I got them all cut up, and I am going to start putting them together. Seven, and I got my other Wonder on Wonderland, on Wonder Lane uh, block. I got it, so I'll be doing that too. Them, I'm trying to think. I think those are the only two that I have in right now. Oh, I got the soul sampler. The soul sampler. Oh, uh, come here, come here. The soul sampler uh, box. I got that in. So that block is in. So is that the mean face? Ooh, y'all look at that mean face. Ooh, ooh, fix that face, girl. So I got those. I got that one in, and um. Uh, that's all I got in so far. I don't have any of the other sew alongs. So, but you know, as soon as I get them in, we'll get we'll get on them. We'll get on them and uh, get them done. But I think I'm doing pretty good with these sew alongs. I'm surprising myself because I really just thought this is gonna be a mess. I didn't I didn't bit off more than I can chew. But I got them all. I got it cut out. And it's a pretty block. And if you don't remember the quilt, let's see, I'll try to show you the quilt. Gotta put my finger on it. That's the quilt that I'm making in this sew along. So it's a pretty quilt. And I did mine, and I chose to do mine in the black and white. They had other colors, another color. But I chose to do mine in the black and white. And of course, they threw a little of this color here in it. They have thrown a little of that in the blocks. So, but I don't mind that. that it kind of gives it a little pop. So, I don't know if they'll throw anything different in it um, in the future. We'll wait and see. But we'll take whatever they give us. But that's all I wanted to come say. And we will get the other blocks together. I'll get those seven blocks together and I will show you guys. I know most of you, because this is a common block, most everybody that has quilt has did this block, but I'm quite sure I have, have did this block. But I'm quite sure I have some newbies, some people that may be just starting to sew that hadn't did this block. So it's, uh, they'll, they'll get to see me put it together. So, and also, I hope that you guys enjoyed my sister's quilt. I finally got it finished, and I got a video out on it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I got to get it sandwiched. I got to get it, um, excuse y'all, she hit the camera. I got to get it uh, sandwiched and quilted, and I'm going to do some ruler work on it. So I'll get to share that with you guys. I'll be doing ruler work on her quilt plus my mother's quilt and my son's quilt. 
But anyway, I'll take you guys along on that journey. And um, I am excited to do it, but nervous. But anyway, I will see you later. If you want to see how these blocks are going to come together, you come back and join me. We'll see you in a bit. Until you later. Oh, yes, I'm later. Hey, guys. I am working on my star and star block. This is it. Now, this contains of all these little, all of these little um, flying geese. It was 29. So, right now, so I have 29 of the bigger ones to do. So, I thought I would show you. I, I can't believe I'm doing this after traveling today. I usually don't do anything. But I got my uh, triangle. And you need two squares. So, got my two squares. And you're going to, I know you may not be able to see too much of this. You're going to draw a diagonal line. I didn't know my small ones. Can you see that line? Can y'all see that line? I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, it's there. I didn't draw it on my uh, smaller ones because they were so small. I would be to the end before I even realized it. But you got to put it in the center. You got to start in the center of this rectangle. Yeah. Triangle. Rectangle. Triangle. Which one is it? Uh, I think it's a triangle. But anyway, you got to put it in the middle. You got to start in the middle. And you have four squares. I mean, your two squares. Four. This is not the non-ways flying geese. There is a method of doing them where you don't have any waste. This one has waste. Um, actually, actually, I'm making some little half square triangles. See the waste? Actually, I'm making some half square triangles with the waste from them. It's, you know, waste not want not. You know, I always say. So you you draw your line diagonally. Now I sewed it here. Now I'm going to check it before I cut it off. I always check mine before I cut them off. I'm just not that bold, y'all. And it should fold down like this. Okay. So I got my little ruler here and my little. But I thought I would show you on the bigger ones. Maybe you could see better on the bigger ones, but I know, I can't remember if I had shown y'all how to do the flying uh, geese. And then I'm opening my seams here. I'm opening them up. Uh, it didn't say on my diagram, so it just said to press them. And normally they say when you, it doesn't say where, <coughs> excuse me. So now I finger pressed it open. Can you see that? I don't know, but I found these results on search. That's Google. I think I'm talking to her, him, her. But anyway, now I'm going to put the other one on. We're going to take our diagonal line, which is there. And we're going to put it in the center. And the center where it would overlap this one here. It's going to overlap a little bit. And that's where you're going to start sewing. Just make sure you got it squared up there nicely. I draw the lines. I'm not, I'm not really confident. <laughs> I really don't have a lot of confidence in me not messing it up. So... It doesn't take me long to draw the lines. I'm a professional at drawing the lines, y'all. I'm a professional at that. But this is it's very easy. But the only thing I hate about it, 
there is waste of material. But if you're these here, the little half square triangle, I didn't even sew them because they're so small. But I did keep them because I might sew them. You never know. So now I'm going to fold that over, make sure it matches up, and it does. See? See how cute that is? And then we're going to cut it off. I keep my little ruler here. It's going to be a quarter of an inch that you're going to cut off. And uh, cut it off. So I'll sew this little triangle. I'm sewing them as I go. So now I'm going to open it up. I'm finger pressing them and piling them over here to press them later. But I think this block only consists of half square triangles. It does. Half square triangles. And yeah, here's your half square triangle up there. You see it up there? It's going to be a half square triangle and flying geese. And then just a block in the center. And some a little block on each corner. So. But this is. My flying. Piece. There. And it's pretty. And I got enough seam allowance there. Which if I was. Putting these together like this. Let's see. If I was, to see, I, I know I'm not going to be able to pick that up and show it to you. But if I was putting them together like this, running them, <laughs> look at that. He done flew the coop, y'all. He done flew the coop. He ain't trying to operate. But if I was putting them as so, you can see that? I would worry about that tip. But since I'm not doing that, I'm not worried about that tip so much. But I still want to make sure that I got a a seam allowance there and they're coming out perfectly they really are so i'm not gonna make you look i got all these to do i got 28 of them i probably got five did so i'm not gonna make you guys watch that and i will you know i'll just show you um uh, I have square triangle too on this video. I might as well. So, all right. I'll be back later. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to say if anyone has a problem with doing the um, flying geese, just leave it in the comments and I'll do a video on flying geese. And I'll try to do, I'm going to practice on doing the no waste method. Uh, Miss Lu Lisa Louise, she's an expert at it. I watch her videos a lot and she's an expert. I mean, if you really want to know how to do it, look her up on YouTube. Matter of fact, I will put her information in this video because if you're new, uh, quilter she really takes the time and really guides you through it she's awesome I love her I watch her usually when I'm in the bathtub uh, you know um, that's my me time and so she usually joins me for a bath that don't don't, don't that sounds that sounds uh, don't take it any kind of way that sounds relaxing to me is to watch a good video, somebody know what they're talking about, why you soaking the tub. And that's what I do, and I watch her, and I get a lot of tips from her. And she's really good. She loves, um, she loves to do log cabin blocks. She really does a lot of those. But on your half square triangles and your flying, sorry about looking down, I'm getting ready to do another block. And your flying geese, uh, she's the woman for the job, so give her, uh, give her, um, go over and look at her video and let her know I sent you over quilted for the soap. Uh, she's an awesome lady, real sweet lady too, and she will get back to you.
All right, guys, I will be back when I start doing the half square triangles. Yep, I just wanted to give you that little bit of information. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, everybody, I am going to show you how I am doing my flying geese. Um, I said I would let you see me make one, so this is my triangle, and I'm going to use two squares that I have cut here for this. Line them up. It's really not a lot, but it does. It is that this is not, you're going to have waste on this one. And I'm having waist like this. So I'm making triangles out of it. But um, this is what I'm doing. I am doing these. And uh, it's really simple. I draw my line on here um, because they're bigger. Like I said earlier, the small ones, I didn't draw a line. I just draw the line on these. And see, I have one sewed down here. And then you fold it back and check it to make sure that it is fine. So once you get that done, then you cut off. Uh, I use a ruler. I can't eyeball anything and get it right so i just use my ruler cut it off i am opening up my seams here because it seems that that would be less of a bulk for open up the seams so i'm just finger pressing them right now to get them all did i had 28 of these also so here's my line and the line has to go from this corner. Can you see that? From this corner, this corner here, to the center. So you want them to meet there. So let me get this one on. It's not uh, really hard to do. And I know I probably showed you how to do them on another video, but I thought since I was doing so many of them, I would refresh that. Thing is just getting them all lined up here. Okay, here we go. I find with mine, to get them to come out exactly right, if I would sew just a little bit closer to the line on the side that is, is not going to be cut, I think. Hold on. That's going to be cut. So I find the so sew on the line just a little bit closer to this side. And mine seems to come out better. When I try to aim right for that line, they don't come out. They don't come out right. I have to normally redo them. But that is how to make your flying geese. This is not, once again, the not the no waste. But you're going to get your little triangle from it. And there's my flying geese. Then I press it. I got my seams open here on the back. I just finger pressed them. But it looks like this once you press it and make it nice and pretty. So I'll come back and show you how I'm going to do the half square triangle. I'm, I'm sure you know how to do that, but... Since I'm doing, why not, you know, maybe somebody run across this video that don't know how to do it. Because I'm showing you I am doing these blocks to make my star and a star a block. 
which is this one here. And this on my no, uh, no folks uh, sew along. So that's what we're doing. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm making my half square triangles and I am, see my lines? I got my lines on there. And I used this little ruler right here. I'm sure I got it off Amazon somewhere. Uh, everything I buy comes off Amazon. But I am chain piecing these. And I am going to get them done. And then I think the next thing we'll be doing... I'm just going down one side of my drawn line. Let's see. My skip line. I'm going down each side of this line here. I know you can see from tip to tip. So I'm sewing on these lines right here. And that'll be my cutting line. So once I get that, these done, on one side, I'll flip it over and sew the other. And I always, always, that's just me, uh, you don't have to do it. But once I sew them, before I cut them, I always just hit it with the iron to relax my seams. Now, you know, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just preference. I prefer to do it. But that's what I'm doing here now. And when I get both sides, I'm just going to turn it around, flip it, flip it around. And I'm doing one side to this side, flip it around, flip it around for you, and go back and do this side. That's all I'm going to be doing here. And once I get them did, I am going to press them and then I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to trim them up. And I will be back to put the block on. The block together. The block on. Oh. This block is, is consists of a lot of flying geese. Had to do all them. 28 of the big ones and 28 of the small ones. Now what I have left is, after I do that, I got these little squares here. That is going to be my centerpiece of the block. And then I got some little white blocks here that will go on the sides. Let's see. I think it is. Yeah, to go on in the sides. Let's see right there in the middle there. It'll go in that. So that's where I'm at now. And I don't have to do anything to these blocks or these blocks. So what I'm trying to do now is get all these and did. And then I'll get them trimmed up and uh, pressed and trimmed up. But I'm just showing you how to make them. I, I know, I do know I got a video on half square triangles. But anyway, when I come back, we'll be putting this puppy together. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got them pressed. See, I like for mine to look like that. I press them, relax those seams. Okay, once I press them, I just cut on the line, on my dotted line. I'm gonna make sure it, it, it adds up on this side to, where's my, to a fourth of an inch. Once I cut it, Get my two, you get two half square triangles. And then I pressed it open once again. Want the seams open. And then I squared it up. And here we go. I square this one up. I love this little ruler. I bought this little ruler because I did not know where to see a seventh of seven eight inch so about this little ruler for that particular thing on these so you line up we're only gonna have a little bit make sure your bottom is on the 
on what you need it and this side. So you're only trimming a little bit off. I used my a grid and flip it over. You know, you got a line that goes right here. I don't know if you can see that. See that line? Yeah. So I line it up right on the seams here. And to the size I need to block to be. And I check it twice. Check twice. Cut them once. That's what they say. Now. I have did that before and I still messed it up. So it's just a little bit of learning to practice, I guess. And here, and that's all, as you, as you can see, this is all I'm getting off of this. And here, I'm finna roll over. Here is the triangle. Now, with that being said, this is the ruler. Let me see if I can get everything off of it. This is the ruler I use to cut all of my squares. And you know how you have a, you cut a square? It is a, a omni-grid ruler. This is it. Can you see that? Let's see. I can't see it. Let me see if I put something behind it. Uh, I don't know. Can you see that? That is the ruler, and I love it, guys. I love it. It is so easy. I hope you can see that. But I will do a video on using this ruler. I'm not sponsored by them. I just looked at a video, seen somebody. You know when you cut out squares most of the time, no matter how you cut them, sometimes you're going to have a little point that is not even. It'll stick out. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I cut all these triangles. See them? I cut all of them. And they are, I mean, squares. <laughs> triangles. Squares. And they are squares. So, I'm not saying, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, don't remember what I paid for the ruler. Um, but I did get it off Amazon. And I love it. I was updating my rulers. This is what I was doing. I was updating because I had the same rulers from the time I started. So I was updating my rulers. So I decided to get some rulers that I needed. So I am going to some different rulers. And they don't slide. They don't slide. They have the grid pad on the back. And they do not move. And I even got a 7, 8. I got a 7, 8 right here. And uh, I love it. I love it. And I think the other one is a 12. Yes, 12. And that one. And then I got the Big Easy also in those rulers. But I will show you. Sorry, Cookie's coming in. I will show you a video on using that ruler next time I cut up some squares. All right, guys. Cookie's getting ready for bed, so I'm going to put her down, and I will be back as soon as I put her down, and it's, me. it's you. <laughs> Do you think they know who you are? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Why are you digging in your nose? What's going on up there? Huh? Digging for gold, girl? Huh? Who are you digging for? But anyway, I'm going to put her down for bed, and I will be back, and we will put this block together. I will finish I up my... I'll be back, guys. <laughs> she said she'll be back, guys. I'm going to finish up my half square triangles, and then I'll lay the block out, and we will put it together. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I am finishing up these blocks. This is my last one, Star and Star. On the folk, on the North Folk, North Folk, so along. So I got everything cut and 
almost put together. I got six of the blocks on the wall. So I will show you them, but we're gonna put this together here. And what I'm doing is taking this one little piece up here. Um, it's a little flying geese. This is the inner block, inside block. Usually I cut the points off on these things. I, I always cut my points off. I don't know why, but I can't get it to the point where I cannot cut my points off. And, uh, but I did really well on those six blocks that I did already. I haven't cut my points off. I think I have one point that I might have cut off a little bit, a little bit, but it's fine. And y'all would not believe I got my other saw lines, and I'll be darned, I know two of them is star blocks. So, I'm going to learn how to make a whole lot. So I got this little piece on the end. And I'm putting another little piece on the end over here. I'm going to learn how to make a whole lot of flying geese blocks. By the time this is all said and done. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I was kind of... When I had these seven to do, I was kind of like dreading it. I was like, oh my God, seven of them? Especially the block and the block. I n I'm never good with that. But the other ones are not block, uh, block in the block. Star in the block. Star in the star. Okay, I'll get it right in a minute, y'all. I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, I just had a... a a shock. I sent my son a package to Australia. I already put in man, it was expensive. I already put my flying geese on this center block already. So I'm just now putting my um, little corners on the inner star. So I thought maybe I would show this and uh, hopefully somebody would it will help somebody. But, uh, excuse me. I'm burping. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I'm still drinking my coffee. I had to go out to the post office this morning and send my, my grandkids. It's supposed to be my grandkids' packages. But, of course, my son thinks that I'm supposed to still send him stuff. He is no longer in the service he is retired from the air force and he, when he used to be over in iraq and all those places we used to send him care packages my sister definitely was always sending him a care package and uh he still thinks i supposed to send him some if i send the grandkids or some but uh we won't let that happen again because i'm gonna tell him next time boy it's just for my babies, my grandbabies. Kids never grow up. They never grow up. I'm like, I'm your baby. Well, when you had those, you gave me other babies. So, I tell my kids all the time, you don't get none no more. You got babies. But I don't mind. I don't mind. I would have bought me some fabric, though. I could have bought me a whole lot of fabric what I just paid out in shipping and the, the box turned out to be 30 pounds when it wouldn't have been that if it, he hadn't been asking for stuff that he can't get in Australia okay so now I'm gonna put this is my center block and I'm gonna add this to the top and uh It is hot out here. Is everybody staying in because they saying the pollution is so bad? Um, people with uh, conditions like myself. I've been out a couple of times and I can feel it in my lungs. A little man across the street, bless his little heart. You know, old people, they just have to do something. He just out there peeling around his house. I seen him out there yesterday. He trims up his hedge bushes there so... They're immaculate. 
And uh, I seen my dear yesterday. He had been out there all day yesterday. Was picking something out of the hedge bush. I said, I'm going to keep an eye on him because we're going to have to go over there and pick him up. But uh, he's back out there this morning. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm probably doing better than I am. As you know, they used to live in like that. Like my mother. I'm trying to tell her she don't need to be in her garden or cutting the grass. Of course, what she do, go cut her grass. They hard-headed children. It's crazy. They we think we think we supposed to take care of them now. They like I'm still the mama. Yeah, thankful to have her. Okay, so I'm I've been opening these seams as much as possible. It's a couple of them I'm gonna take back down and open the seams up because man, there's so much bulk. But that's the top or bottom. That's what it looks like now. I do a little pinning on these to make sure I'm lining it up. I got a couple of them off, but you know, it wasn't so bad that I was willing to take it out. I was not willing to take it out. I was like, it's going to be what it's going to be. And I also got my next block for this uh, sew along. And it is a star. But I think it's using the hourglass blocks to make the star. The, to make the star this time. That's, a, that's the thing. There's so many different ways to make stars. And so I guess you just use... You decide to do a star block, and you just use what works for you. I kind of think I like the hourglass better. I'll let you know once I do it. Let's see, let's get back over there. Let's get back over there. Where are you going? I'm telling you, it's so much bulk, but it really helps opening up these seams really does and they just said press so they didn't even tell me where to put the seam so i just been opening them up i think the only ones i didn't open up was this one right here all the rest of them i open up because uh, i was trying to iron press them and those things had little knots everywhere where those seams all them seams was meeting So now, got us finger press this. I got my iron on. Do I got my iron on? No, no. So here's our first little star block. So now, that's the first one. So now we got to do this outer star right here. So, Yesterday, I had a block upside down. So, I'm looking at them blocks up there. So, now, once again, half square triangle. Show it to you. Half square triangle. And we're going to put it on the flying. Uh, I guess these geese, geese, goose, 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 whatever. Flying geese. Flying geese blocks. So we're going to put these on. I am so far behind. I have all of my, all of my um, blocks of the month is come in. And uh, I'm just finishing up last month's. This is me finishing up last month's. But... You know what? I ain't gonna worry about it because we're gonna get them done. We're gonna get them done here. We are. So I'm gonna open this up too. Finger press it out. I'm gonna put the other end on and then I'm gonna show it to you. There we go. 
put the other end on. I did this block before. I want to say I already have a video on doing this block, but I may not because I think I will really remember if I was doing one of these blocks because I really don't like doing them. Like I say, I always come with points off. Anybody got any? Okay, so here is the top piece. And so with this, this one here, I'm going to put um, flying uh, flying these on each side of it so that's wrong that's wrong let's lay this back over here I'm trying to put my point side over there and I know that's wrong but I caught it y'all I caught it You don't really have no seams to line up here. Just your ends, but you want to make sure all your... Well, I want to make sure... Let's see, I think I'll, I'll put a pin in this. I want to make sure that all my blocks are open. I mean, all my seams are open because I'm opening the seams on this. So I think I better pin it. I think I better pin it for, for the sake of saying I, at least I tried. At least I tried. Yep. It needs some pins. It said it needed some pins. Right. I know probably a lot of you guys have did this block if you have and you have any tips about not cutting off your seams I would deeply appreciate it that you would pass on that knowledge I mean cutting off your seams cutting off your tips oh I can't talk today I told you I had a shock this morning that post office. Um, if you got any tips on how not to cut those seams off, I would really appreciate it. Okay. See, one's good. It's not too bad. It's not. It's not too bad. That one. It's a little bit on there, and I'm using my quarter of an inch seam so okay I don't have to press that because I'm gonna press them before I'm gonna press them before I put them together anyway so if you have any tips I not to cut off my points there I would appreciate you I always get it cut off I'm doing, like I say, I'm doing pretty good on these. I'm, I'm really surprising myself. But I think it's because of the rule I use to cut all my blocks. That they are, are what they're supposed to be. They ain't wonky or whatever. So I think it's that nice new rule I got. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'll have to do a video on cutting some blocks with it. I really like it. Like I say, I have a, I have a couple of shape rulers, but um, I saw this one. Saw a commercial on this one. And I thought, hey, I need that, and I bought it, and I love it. Don't you just like it when you buy something and you really like it? buy something you'd be like oh it's okay I could have lived without it but 
this one. I don't know how I've been, been sewing without it. So I got a piece I want to flip. I hope you all are having a blessed day. I see, really, look at that one. I really got that one in there. But I guess you really can't too much tell or you won't really notice it because it's the same material over there. But I really snagged Mama, that one. I need to go see. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Nature calls. I'm, Hold on. I'm here. Hold on. All right, y'all. I went ahead and finished this bottom piece while I was taking Cookie to the potty. So I'm going to my house is loud. So I'm going to put them together, and I I pressed them because I like when I get ready to get to this step. And if anything needs to be trimmed up a little bit, I do that. So. You know, you're trying to keep your quarter inch seam and you got a piece hanging over. And I always just go ahead and pin both of them together. So when I get through, I can just flip it over and do the other side. And we kill two birds with one little stone. But I got it all. And these blocks supposed to came out 12 unfinished. My blocks are coming out almost 12 and a half. I could trim them down at any given time. But right now, I just kind of trim them up and leave them at the size they are. I'll worry about that when I get ready to put the quilt together. I have to make me a known note of that. All right, we're finna finish up these I'm gonna get these blocks finished today. Thank God. And then I'm going to work on another one of my saw long. You may miss a, a block in one of these saw longs because I'm not gonna be showing you how to make a star block on all these blocks here, on all these, if they're all one star blocks. Unless it's, it's a different technique, then I'll show you. Whoa, what are you doing now, Nelly? There you go. You said, girl, give me a chance to get started before you put the hammer down. Yeah. See, that's that all that bulk that I was telling you about. That's why I've been opening these seams up. That's why you want to have your hands uh, let up. That's why you want to have your seam allowance so you can open them up and you won't have a mess there. And when I get ready to quilt this, I got to move all the stuff off my machine on my table so I can quilt it. Let me look at that. It always spins there, but it never flips the block. I don't know. Because it's uh, these two ends are, see, I'm, I'm doing this end, and they're both the same. So, I guess it just, I don't know. I ain't trying to say what this machine is doing. This, they told me that this machine would not eat up my material. Well, I beg a difference. It's did it a couple of times. I beg a difference. And then, of course, they would say, well, you didn't have it up for enough. So, you know. You take what they promise you with a grain of salt, right? Open that up. 
everybody sews different, you know. So, I don't expect the machine to know that you don't know what you're doing, like myself. Uh, I'm expecting you to work miracles over here. Because you're an expensive machine. And uh, you should work miracles for me. But the machine says it doesn't work like that. So I got a seam. I got two seams that's flipped. And I'm going to go back. I'm not going to show you on camera, but I'm going to go back and pick that out. So here's the block, guys. So I'm going to get them on the board. I'm going to get them all up on the board, and I'll show you all of them on the board. I'll be right back. Okay, let me show you how I fix those seams that flip. I just went and took the stitches out, like on each side of it. It was these two. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> on each side. And now I'm just going to flip it up here, and I'm just going to run back across it and close that up because I, I thought about it I was like I can do it off camera but somebody new they need every every step they need every step so I don't have a problem showing them instead of me breaking my thread since they're right there together I'm just gonna double stitch that now now I may have a problem there that one may be trying to flip but anyway, no, it's not. But I'm just going to go back. It's trying to flip on me again. And close that back up. And it'll be good. It'll be good. Just stayed in my seam. Uh, in my stitches that I made before. And everything is good. Now, can't even tell if it was ever flipped. All right, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get these, this one pressed out and trimmed down, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have all seven of the blocks on the wall. I kind of got a little discouraged when I seen all these blocks because, like I say, I am not too good at doing the star in the center. But I did pretty good. I did really good with them. Surprised myself. And I have those. My next one, it is going to be, let's see if I can find something with all four of these blocks on here. But it's another, this is my next one. Uh, I'll be doing the blue and white quilt. And um, I got four blocks on it to do. And then I have, I have all of my sew alongs here. So I'm going to be working on that today since I've got this one finished. And I hope you all looked at my um, my video on the blooms and butterfly quilt. Turned out really pretty. Really nice. But I'm going to be working on that today. And I hope, I hope you, sorry my grandson is so excited in there. I hope you enjoy this video. I have two more that is actually star blocks also. But I see they're made different, so I'm, I said I wasn't going to film them, but I'm going to film them because someone new may need that knowledge. So I'm going to film those. All right, guys. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Thank you guys that are, are sharing my videos. Thank you new subscribers that's come in. You just do not know how much I appreciate you. I know we say that, but I do. I appreciate you. I appreciate all your comments. I love to hear from you and all your knowledge. If you have anything, if you can help me with these points, uh, I would like that information in the comments. But if you like what you see, please take the time and share my videos. Give me a thumbs up. If nothing else, give me a thumbs up. It helps my video to get out. So I can get, it can get to more people. And don't forget to subscribe. I would love to hear from you. We're also, a reminder, we're having a Zoom. And this Zoom is sewing with friends. And that's what it means. 
bring your project even if you don't have a project and you just want to sit in and listen to us talk uh shoot the breeze sip on something chew on something you know snack uh that's fine too so just come in uh if you're new and you want to learn some things about quilting this is the best time to do it in on the zoom so there's be hostess there to help you there'll be other quilters hopefully to help you or to answer your questions that you ask so give us uh come in and join us it's going to be uh the 24th at noon central time and we'll be looking forward to seeing you so don't forget like share and subscribe see you next time god bless you and your family Bye -bye. <laughs>